Byron. 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 Who are you? Where the hell am I? I have a little news for you, Byron. Let me show you something. You don't want to see the aftermath. It gets a little ugly. You're dead. Welcome to the afterlife. Take a seat. I have here with me a pretty hefty book with your life story in it, right down to the nitty gritty. Let's have a look, shall we? It says here when you were 16, your dad caught you smoking marijuana cigarettes in the fort in the woods. You graduated number six out of 489 students, but you cheated on most of your tests. Jesus Christ. Oh, your dog Jake recently ate one of your favorite pairs of shoes. Bad dog. You get hit by a bus? Thought we knew that. Oh, here's something you didn't know. When you were engaged to your wife, she got an abortion. Because she spent the night with her manager, got pregnant, and didn't know who the little fella belonged to. Good to know, right? Now, I'm going to finish this puppy off and you'll be judged shortly. But, first, I'd like to give you the chance to come clean and perhaps defend some of your actions. Keeps things interesting when you've been doing this for thousands of years. So, you come clean and who knows? You might not have such a bad afterlife after all. Think of this as your final confession booth. The last thing you want to do is piss me off. Sorry. Confession ends in half an hour. Okay. Then judging begins. Okay. Okay. I, I used to take my parents' car out w when they didn't know. Uh, but everyone does that. It's part of growing up. Last weekend I was drunk. A little bit, and I drove home anyway. Um, I told my daughter she couldn't date because she was too young. The real reason was that her boyfriend is a... He's black. You're forgetting something big, something recent. Oh. I've been cheating on my wife since the second year of our marriage. Recently, with my boss's daughter. It just felt so good. It started happening one day. I mean, fuck him. It's, it's like sticking it to the man, you know? That's time! That hasn't been a half an hour! Hey! Lucky for you, it hasn't been a half an hour. It's amazing what people will spill out just five minutes after they think they're dead. What? That's right, after they think they're dead. You mean I'm not really dead? W what about the bus? The, 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 the demon? The, the chair? Special effects, makeup, lighting, yada yada yada. Welcome to the new millennium. 
You're actually on Afterlife, a reality show that your friends and family have set you up on. We drugged you, we dragged you in here, and let you do your thing. You've actually already signed the release papers. Honey, have you seen my keys? Uh, yes, right here. Oh, honey, can you sign this before you go? What's that? It's uh, for Stacy's field trip. She needs a permission slip signed. Why can't you sign it? Oh, honey, can you please just do it? You know her teacher okay, doesn't okay, like okay, me. Okay. Where, where, where? Uh, right here. Where, where? How could she? A few hundred dollars can go a long way, my man. Oh, BTW, I made up the whole thing about her cheating on you. It's all in the contract. You fucking son of a bitch. You ruined my marriage, my career, my image. All for your fucking show. Oh, one more thing. Your car insurance may go up now because of that whole DWI thing. You really shouldn't drink and drive. <laughs> Look, you did all the talking. I was just sitting back relaxing while you did your thing with the cameras rolling. I don't give a flying fuck about your life. I've already got a restraining order all filled out and ready to go. Get this fucking ass tool out of here.